M0FXP, there's new G90 firmware for the back end. Okay, 1.80. So all you do is grab your cable, plug it into the 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 port named com. Then turn the radio off completely using the off and also turn the power off at the power supply. That sort of resets things. Then go to Radiology, download the firmware. Of course, the link's there, and within that, they give you a program called TerraTerm, which looks like this when it opens. You just go start. You start just typing Terra, T-E. You'll see it there. It's like a yellow box. You get two windows appear. Make sure your cable's connected to your PC and to the radio. Turn the power supply back on. Okay, but don't turn the radio on. Okay, let's move this over. Just moving this out of the way. Too many windows here. Uh, right click your device manager, get your COM number. So right click device manager COM, which needs to be set to 115200 as well. So go down, double click and USB there. Look, if you right click, go properties. You can set, if you go across one to port settings, select in the drop down 115200. So that's what your com done. So in Terra term, now when you download the firmware, just grab that one file because you'll click the, the link I give you and it'll give you a zip, okay? That's all this advertising that's going on here. Within the zip, go to the bit that says firmware and just hover, yeah? And it says 1.80B01 and it's main unit. That's the main thing, let me move my um thing out of the way. So look here, main unit. Just put that somewhere, just drag it into a file so you know where it is. You don't need the rest, you, yeah? Okay, so once you've got, you know where that is. Okay, then go back to these TerraTerm windows that you've opened up. On the left here go to the bottom click serial see that serial and then remember it's 14 14 okay and then click OK so COM port 14 click OK here and what will remain is just the black window okay and then within this black window go to setup so it's the third one along setup then you've got a long list, go down till you see serial port. There it is there, one, two, three, four, is it five? Serial port. Click, and then again, we just need to tell it we're on 115200 that we've just set, and that we're on 14, yeah, COM 14. Don't touch nothing else, click new. So you're now sort of ready to get the radio to sort of go into firmware mode. And the way you do it for the back end, is you t hold down the on, remember the power is on on the su supply now, hold down the on, as soon as you turn it on, you're gonna have to hit your space bar, and then in, in this, make sure you click this black window, because it needs to know that your mouse is here. And then one, because what you're doing is you turn it on, it says, do you want me to erase the EEPROM? And then you go uh, and go into firmware mode, yeah? And the one is what erases it. Now remember, you won't brick anything, it just, the annoying thing about it is you'll have to just keep doing it until you get it right. Because that's the nice thing about these kind of G90 firmwares is you can pretty much do it over and over again. Even if you get a black screen, even if it all goes weird, you can pretty much, you can still do it over and over again. And that's, uh, and I've, I've had that many times. So what I'm going to do now is turn on the power here and I'm going to hit my space bar and then one on my keyboard. But I'm going to remember to click here first. So power on space bar and then we got to very quickly hit one okay and what it does it erases it so now now we're in firmware mode and we are talking the cable is talking to the back end so now we got to go set a uh, file so first file first selection then we got got to go down to transfer and then this appears and the one you're looking at is x modem x modem so second one down and then you go across, it says receive, but you've got to go to send, send, click. So now you've got to find that file. So 
Um, I put it in a thing called um, one. See that says GSP display unit. That's no good. We want the rear one and it has to say G90 main unit firmware, main unit. So that's cool. And then you have to click this 1K box here, 1K, and then <laughs> open and it just loads it. Now it is quite scary. Um, and you have to do a factory reset at the end. I'll show you how, and even that's a bit temperamental doing the factory reset. So we'll keep it live. And um, I've already actually loaded it. So fingers crossed. That will go in, it says complete reboot. It's worked, there you are. Uh, yeah, it's looking great, yeah. That's the new firmware. Sounding good, and to do the factory reset, and I'll show you where you how you can check your firmware as well. You have to turn it off, and then you have to sort of hold your finger and turn it on, but you might have to do it a couple of times until you get the word yes on the screen. And you can unplug the cables now, that don't apart from the power, doesn't need any of that. So we're going to hold firmware, turn on, and hopefully we'll get the yes. And when we get the yes, we hit the bottom left and it just reboots it, you know, factory resets it. Done, as quick as that. And look, it's, it's looking great. It really is. And to check your firmware, again, function button, just hold it like so. And remember, we've only done the firmware for the rear end. That's all we need to do in this one. We just go next, 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 all the way until the end. And then you get this green writing and then it's going to show the firmware. And we've got 1.80 on the base, which is the back end and 1.80 on the front end. Now, if you do want to do your front end, it's exactly the same process. But the only difference is that you plug the cable, the cable that comes in the box in the bottom hole, the bottom one. And to get it into firmware mode, the only difference Let's just exit that. Is that instead of holding the space bar to do the firmware process, you'll you'll hold you you turn it on and you hold down the volume, and that gets the front end into firmware mode. And you still have to be the volume is the same as the space bar. You have to be quick, and then you have to hit that number one. And but that time, then you then you just instead of select the, the 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 firmware for the base unit, you select it for the display unit. Job done. Give it a go. You know you can do it. Don't worry if you get it wrong. Keep trying. And please don't blame me if you if you brick your radio. Although I'm telling you, you cannot brick it. But you can think it's bricked. Because I've had it where I've spent hours thinking I've bricked it. I've bricked it. And then no, you just re turn it, turn everything off. You've got to disconnect the power from your power supply. Turn the radio off. Let all the power drain from the radio. And then it just thinks, right, I can now be reset um, from the factory. 7-3, cheers. You know I'm the best, 7-3.